What is up guys, this is Tom, and I'm very, very excited to bring you part three of the Build an Awesome Budget Max series. It's been so long, so I'm going to put the links to the last two parts on the screen right now, so you can click them if you haven't seen them in a while and you want to update, or you haven't seen them whatsoever and you're just following along with this one. So in this episode, this may be the final episode, I'm not 100% sure, there'll be some benchmarks at the end, but we're going to be installing a 512 gigabyte Crucial M4 SSD. This is the actual drive itself. As you can see, it's really good looking actually, and you know, it's a bit of a shame to just cover it up inside your computer. However, that is what's going into the computer. And this is a perfect drive for our build actually, because it's actually an older generation SSD, which means that it's incredibly good value. I'll link the uh, price to this, you know, the current pricing as of you watching this video. That will be linked in the top bar of the description, so you can, of course, check that out. Uh, to see the pricing and availability. So as I said, we are doing the SSD upgrade and it wasn't too difficult. This is a 2012 Mac Mini if you haven't watched the previous two episodes uh, and it wasn't too difficult. It took me, I'd say, about 45 minutes. I did have one slight issue, but I just went back, retraced my steps and it was done, no problem. I followed a tutorial from OWC and that's great and I'll link it down below. I'm not gonna show you how to do it in this video, it'll just take too long. However, if you do wanna see it, they've got a whole step-by-step -step guide that will be linked down below in the description. So as I said, the upgrade went near perfectly, uh, and I've cloned my original hard drive, my one terabyte uh, HDD that I had in my Mac Mini before this, onto this SSD prior to doing that. And I'll try and link another tutorial. Uh, I, I did this with Ads Tutorial, but I'll try and find one and link that down below as well in case whenever you need it. Here we have a boot test between the SSD and the hard drive. This is the hard drive you're watching. The clip is at four times the uh, actual speed, so it clocked in at one minute and three seconds and now we'll switch over to the SSD once this boots up and you'll see that the SSD is a lot quicker to boot it's not an enormous amount but it is a lot quicker I think it becomes at around 38 seconds 38 to 40 seconds which shaves off around about half it's not actually half but it does just give you a basic idea on how these kind of systems perform next up we got the black magic speed test this tests your disk speed your read and write for the disk in your computer and with the hard drive you can see that there's roughly around uh, 80 to 90 write and it's about the same on the read so you get uh, similar speeds and this isn't by any means slow it is a SATA 3 connection so it's quite a high speed uh, hard drive in here and uh, it's not it's not slow you're not going to be able to not do anything on this however you see that when we install the SSD it switches over to around about 250 to 260 write speed which is just insane and uh, over 500 read uh, it maxes out at various kind of different speeds for example there's a 347 but um, this will refresh a couple of times and it will max out at over 500 which is just pretty crazy uh, and it just basically means that you can read data off your hard uh, off your storage very quickly launching apps is almost instantaneous so there's lots of real world advantages for having an SSD in your system so guys there we have it I believe that pretty much wraps up the build an awesome budget Mac series I'll have all the parts linked down below in the description if you missed any of them so you can catch up it was a fantastic series and it's really improved my editing uh, collection, uh, connections or whatever, editing setup, we'll go with that one. And it's definitely a good way of entering the Mac ecosystem without spending an absolute fortune on a new MacBook Pro or something like that. Otherwise guys, if you have enjoyed this series, please drop a like on this video as it really does help me out and it lets me know that I, you would like to see more videos like this in the future. If you're new, don't forget to subscribe. Otherwise guys, I'll catch you in the next one.